Did you know that 29 million people in the U.S. have diabetes? That's nearly 10% of the country. For years, diabetes patients have been poking themselves with needles to get life-saving insulin. But now, as we mark World Diabetes Day today, we've got exclusive details on a new treatment that could change that one deep breath at a time. This is how 33-year-old Richard Valerius takes his insulin. He carries it in a small case and has no shame using it in public. My inhalable, it's just, it sounds like an asthma inhaler. I can do it sitting at a table at a restaurant. Valerius was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes when he was just 8 years old. It wasn't until nine months ago he learned there was an alternative to the painful injections. There's a lot less guesswork involved, and I really do appreciate that, especially when you're trying to live just a normal life on a daily basis. Valeria says ditching the injections has been life-changing, and he says the inhaled insulin works much faster. A few minutes in, it starts to, you know, do its magic, and then uh, within an hour, you know, it's run its course. So if your blood sugar is high at that point, you know, you have to take more inhalable. Um, but it won't trend downward from that point either. At least that's been my experience with it. This particular insulin uh, reduces the number of low blood sugars they get. Endocrinologist Dr. Bharati Raju believes this new product called Afreza will become the new treatment for diabetes. They don't feel this as a hindrance, particularly it's very popular among younger patients who are like early 20s and uh, early 30s. They are very much into uh, adapting the new technology. How does the price of this product compare to the injections? It's comparable and right now about 70 to 80 percent of the insurance has covered this. A significantly better quality of life than continuous injections, so uh, I'm a pretty big fan. Inhaled insulin was approved by the FDA in 2014. It was made available here in the U.S about a year later, but something to note is it's still not approved, Rennie, for people 18 years and younger, hmm. which I know is kind of unfortunate because it's tough for kids yeah. to have to do the injections. Dr. Raju says that's just because they haven't actually studied it on children yet because it is so new, uh, but she says that's in the works. So I know a lot of parents are probably hoping that their kids can yeah. have an inhaler yeah. instead of those. A lot of kids be happy about that as well. Well, Ali, yeah. since this is World Diabetes Day, we're digging deeper into what you need to know about the disease. Did you realize that one out of four people who have diabetes have never been diagnosed? So it's important for you to know the symptoms. You may feel hungry or fatigued. If your body doesn't make enough insulin, you will have no energy. Other signs are urinating more and feeling thirsty. You may suffer from dry mouth and itchy skin. You may also notice blurred vision because changing fluid levels in your body can make the lenses in your eyes swell up. But diabetes is a manageable disease. Doctors say treatment starts with you. Check your sugar, count your carbs, use exercise as a form of medicine. Know your numbers, not just blood sugar readings, but your blood pressure and your cholesterol. And be sure to build a dream team. This can include your doctor along with a nutritionist, pharmacist, a nurse, and others. We'll be sure to put all of this information